Hey, how's everybody out there doing? Another episode of Get That Physical Media or Got That Physical Media because I've got a lot more stuff to show you from the last couple of weeks. It's been so much stuff. My wife started writing me again about why is all this stuff in the office? Why is it all on the ground? It's because I need to show it. I'm, I got drawers full of it here. But what we're going to do is we're going to keep shoveling through it. Eventually, we'll get to the bottom of the pile. But before we get in any of these DVDs, we got a special delivery. That's right. We got a special delivery from Target. And it's from their buy two, get one free they had recently. And before we do any of that, please remember, if you're not a subscriber, subscribe. I love you guys that have subscribed. We're at like 566 subscribers when I am recording this. Um, we got great times. We have great fun. And hey, if, you, if you're watching this and you enjoy it, why wouldn't you subscribe? But listen, leave comments. I love comments most of all. I, help, I guess it helps us get up recognized by the algorithms. That's what everybody says on, on YouTube. Hey, leave comments. It helps us get recognized. Hey. You know, and I'm always like, uh, yeah, okay. But I at least leave a like. And uh, without further ado, let's get into that physical media. Physical media. Oh, yeah. I want that physical. Gotta own those discs now. Check out all the stuff I got. Yeah. Oh, yes, now. Check out all the stuff I got. All right. I know. I got those moves. All right. So what's in here? What is in this bubble mailer? And what's probably bent up or broken? I don't hear a loose disc. All right. Let's check it out. Let's check out what I ordered. What did I order? Ooh, all right. This is a good one. It's from Shout Factory. That's a hint. Pretty sure it's 80s. 80s movie. It's pretty dirty. It's like dusty as, dusty as all heck. <laughs> and this is the Shout Factory release of Explorers. And, uh, yeah, it's got a nice slip cover. I'm gonna open it up here. We'll check out if it's got a different slip underneath. Sometimes um, the Shout Factory release releases have new art. Sometimes they have the old art. Sometimes they have the new and the old, just that the, um, it's like reversible. So we'll check. Um, Blu-ray, the slip cover's in pretty good shape. That's always nice. So there's the inside art, and let's see. Yup, yup, it is reversible, so let me do that right now. And I do this with all my Shout Factory releases because I, I, I actually like the original posters for a lot of these ones they put out. Um, but if I have the slip cover, it's even better because then I get the best of both worlds, right? Best of both worlds. And yes, here it is. So here's new. Here's old, original. Which do you prefer? Hmm? Do you prefer the original art, which is the one with the bike here? Or do you prefer the new one with the ship launching? So... You can leave a comment about that. You know, we'll do a little little poll. But let's get right into these uh, pickups I got. Cider House Rules. I'll do them on this side. Cider House Rules. What do you think? Scarlett Johansson. What's his name? Toby McGuire? Yeah, Toby McGuire and Michael Caine. Pretty good cast. Never seen it. I know, and this is another one of those movies I'm, I'm kind of ashamed to say I don't, I've never seen it, and why I'm ashamed to say that is because I've heard only good things. So, Cider House Rules, you know, does it? 
does it rule um how about this one? Oh, we got it we got it ebert presents two thumbs up Ooh, we we know when i find a two thumbs up ebert movie you gotta own it right there's no way you can pass up anything ebert gives two thumbs up or roper or whoever the other guy was he did things with um but this is antonio banderas movie similar to zorro but not quite it's puss in boots that's right puss in boots it's supposedly the origin of how he became puss in boots so if you've never seen this it's the best animated film of the year in uh whatever year this was according to their orlando sentinel so at this point a little old but i i'm hoping my son likes shrek he did watch the first shrek i'm hoping he likes the other ones because then he'll really like that i've never seen puss in boots is it a good side story and uh cider house rules was also one of the best pictures of the year according to los angeles times it was powerful according to chicago tribune i mean powerful you know ugh, it's, it's crazy uh <laughs> how about this one astonishing unbelievable riveting amazing a delightful, wholesome experience for the whole family. Well, for the family, it says, but why not the whole family? As told by Morgan Freeman, there's your hint, uh, a movie to amaze the eyes and astonish the heart. Yep, that's right, March of the Penguins. Also never seen it. But, again, heard good things. <laughs> It's nice when I find these ones that I've wanted to see for a while, and I get them for 50 cents from Salvation Army. Oh, and uh, Explorers was a lot more than 50 cents. This was like $23. But, like I said, it was a buy two, get one free. So, the other two movies are not yet here. This is probably a bad pickup. I know that going in. If, if Please confirm my wife's theory. She said she's heard these are bad. Um, I think this is the second of the movies. It might be the first of the movies. Percy Jackson and the Olympians, The Lightning Thief. It says on the back, a bolt of family fun. And they had to quote somebody from some TV network, WZZM, TV, ABC. So. I don't know. I don't know if these are any good, but you know, let me know. I'm interested to find out. Percy Jackson movie. And is, that, is it the first one, and is it any good? That's, I guess, my two big questions to you. Um, Terminator Salvation. Rental copy. 50 cents. No cover art. It, it, seriously, it had no cover art. It was in a case, but it had no cover art. So, I'm going to be printing out the cover art to that. You know, it being a rental doesn't bother me. Um, where's that rental from? Let's see. Well, it doesn't really say. I don't know. I, I know that Terminator movie isn't one of the best ones, but it could be. It could be good action-y. Is Salvation really that bad? Is it horrific? Is Genesis better than Salvation? Because I have Genesis I haven't watched as well. Uh, rank your Terminator movies in the comments. Pause this and go down there and do it. I'll wait. All right. This is a Disney movie I've never heard of. My wife said they used to play it all the time back in the day. According to CBS TV, it was an instant classic. Um, it's from the studio that brought you The Princess Diaries. It's got Ben Kingsley in it, Sissy Spacek, Jonathan Jackson, not Joshua Jackson, Jonathan Jackson, and William Hurt. It's Tuck Everlasting. Has anyone ever heard of Tuck Everlasting? I haven't. But... Something about a fountain of youth, a family that's lived for many, many, many years. Supposedly, this movie will captivate audiences of any age. So, should captivate even you. Um, this is a cool one. This was what I was looking forward to because this was a Dollar Tree movie that I got for 50 cents, I'm pretty sure. And it also has a bonus um, Catwoman feature on it. It's Batman Year One from this moment on. None of you is. 
Wait, from this moment on, none of you is safe. Batman. None of you is safe. Isn't it none of you are safe? None of you is safe. Is, is that correct English? None of you are safe. I, none of you is safe? From this moment on, none of you is safe. Batman year one. I mean, maybe in year one, he maybe it's like grade one. And then he's like learning English. Batman. Batman grade one. <laughs> cool, cool. All right. Um... <laughs> Next up, this was a cool pickup because I, 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 you know, I like these movies. Not the, I don't like all the live action stuff, but I like the animated stuff generally. And uh, Dr. Seuss's stuff. Uh, I like the Grinch Who Stole Christmas. And this is the Grinch Grinch's The Cat in the Hat. Um, that cover art, Don't Let It Fool You. This was a really old one um, that they released in 2003. But, like, the original movie, the original is from... 70s 80s I don't know it's from ways back let's just say it that way um, but yeah it's got a mono soundtrack that should tell you something there you go the Grinch Grinches the cat in the hat Roundy Dow, I've got it I've got it with cover art that isn't reflective of the quality of the video uh now ha 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 this is a Matthew McConaughey, and uh, it's a thrill and treasure hunt, romantic intrigue, exotic locales. Is this any way to save a divorce? Fool's gold. All right, all right, all right. All right, all right, all right. That's that's my Matthew McConaughey. Leave comments below. Let me know. Any good? A little more. All right, all right, all right. You know, you need that southern draw in the... Um, I already had this um, from... Somebody else had had it, and I ripped it from there, but owning your own copy is always nice, and also this had a great condition slipcover, and that is The Devil Wears Prada. And it's got a shiny... Look how shiny this shoe is. Oh, it's so shiny, it's shiny, it's shiny. Yeah. Anyway. Devil Wears Prada, Anne Hathaway, Meryl Streep, Meryl Streep, Meryl Streep. I have not seen it. I'm looking forward to seeing it. Me and my wife want to watch that one together. Ah, uh, yes. This actually got uh, my uncle passed um, a few weeks ago, and um, this was one of the movies he had in his collection. This was a family video one he bought, and you can tell because their cover or printouts are so crappy of uh, quality, but. Uh, I I'm gonna reprint it myself off CoverCity you know net but uh, the fog. This is the original fog, not the remake. I've heard there's a remake. This is the 1979 one with. Uh, it looks like it's um, John Carpenter version, Jamie Lee Curtis. Yeah. So, Adrian Barbarella. Oh, Adrian Barbo. Oh, there you go. The fog. Never seen that, but hopefully it's good. Now, this was a cool pickup. This is a three movies, 50 cents, remember? Keep this in mind. All right, here we go. It's a 007 set. It's just volume two. Where's volume one and stuff? I don't know. But volume two. We got Thunderball, You Only Live Twice, and Diamonds Are Forever for 50 cents. Is that good? I think it's good. I mean, even if I only watch them once, that's like, you know, less than 20 cents a movie. But Sean Connery, Volume 2, Ultimate 007 Collection. Do, 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 do. And we're going to round it out with this one. Probably not the best one to end on. But hey, it's what it is. It's the first two discs of the first 100 episodes of... SpongeBob SquarePants, SpongeBob SquarePants, SpongeBob SquarePants. Do, 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 do. So yeah, first two discs are in there. Um, they did not have any of the other discs. But this has on the first 16 episodes, 
which each have in it within it two to three different segments. Um, it looks like most of them are two segments. Only the first episode has three, but so you know, depending on how you look at that, that's a lot of different episodes. At any rate, it's a good pickup. So what do you think? Uh, remember, let, I'm going to even put a comment down below and you guys got to judge which covers better. Who wore better, the original or the remake? Or the new, sorry, not the remake, the new art. Um, this might be a nice pickup. I, uh, I know it has a lot of deleted scenes on it and stuff. It, it has the home video and theatrical cuts of the film. Um, this also has a, a science fiction fairy tale, the story of explorers, includes new interviews with director Joe Dante, screenwriter Eric Luke, star Ethan Hawke, and more. Uh, it's got new deleted scenes with optional commentary by Joe Dante, new interviews with cinematographer Joe, John Hora, and editor Tina Hirsch, and then has the theatrical trailer. So, you don't need a driver's license to reach the stars, the more you know. So once again, thank everybody that's uh, watched all the way through this. Remember, like, subscribe, tell your friends, share it on, share it around, and uh, leave comments. Put timestamps in front of the comments. Helps me know what you're talking about. And I'll see you guys next time. So, see ya. Physical media. Oh, yeah. I want that physical. Gotta own those discs now. Check out all the stuff I got. Oh yes, now check out all the stuff I got.